We're looking for opportunities, and I've got the, guy, the right guys for you, uh, beginning with Bonson Group Managing Partner, David Bonson. David Bonson, I've got to get your thoughts, though, on communications, technology stocks. They all have, for the most part, blow blowout earnings. They beat on, on, on revenue. Most of them gave pretty good guidance. They all took a hit lower, but I think they were just over their skis. How do you feel? Well, I think that's exactly what it was, but I don't think that's changed. I think they're still well over their skis. A stock that's at 180 times earnings that goes to 172 times earnings doesn't become cheap. So people either believe that those multiples are justifiable, they believe they're sustainable, or they believe they need to be repriced. And as you probably know, Charles, I'm more in that latter camp. But I don't think you can say it about the entire space. I don't think it's about all the stay-at-home names. I don't think it's about all tech names. I think it's primarily the big fang names that have benefited from index inclusion heavy cap-weighted index purchases, and just resulted in a kind of self-fulfilling prophecy of an obscene valuation. Well, let's switch to a sector that has not uh, enjoyed all of those benefits, the financials. And I want to go back to you, David, because uh, you wrote a book about this and uh, about a possible president, Warren. Well, they're talking about a possible Treasury Secretary, Warren or Sanders. How are you looking at financials right now? Well, I think that that concern has been out there, and a lot of people have asked me about it. Do I think that the market would respond negatively if Joe Biden wins and then selects Elizabeth Warren as Treasury Secretary? Now, the answer is yes, it would. I mean, I don't mean it would go down a little. I think it would go down a couple thousand points at the idea of a Treasury Secretary Warren. The only reason why I'm not concerned about that is it's not going to happen. Elizabeth Warren is not going to be our Treasury Secretary. Uh, first of all, they have a Republican governor in Massachusetts who would be naming her replacement. And Joe Biden is not going right. to let a Republican senator go into Massachusetts. But even apart from that kind of political or tactical reason, she, Joe Biden doesn't know her anything. She didn't do anything to help his campaign. She's an extremist. She's completely off her rocker. And she brought the Obama-Biden administration, <laughs> the embarrassing <laughs> Consumer Protection Financial Bureau, which has got smacked around in the courts ever since and done nothing to lower right. systemic financial risk in our country. So there's plenty of things to like about the right, financials, and there's plenty of things to dislike. Right. Elizabeth Warren is not in that calculus. I Real quick, uh, Bonson, because you like the Master Limited Partnerships, energy, obviously, is that one area, you know, I saw where I think it was Refinitiv said they will lose 44 percent of income of their earnings, rather, next year uh, under Biden's policies. Do you stay long this group? Well, again, you stay along the key names in the group. The Exxons and Chevrons are going to benefit from Biden's policy because new regulation he brings in hurt the little guy. They don't hurt the big guy. It gives Exxon and Chevron more market share. Exxon is the huge contributor to lobbying for a carbon tax. Now, why would they do that? It seems to go against their best interest. But it doesn't go against their best interest to see the left kind of get rid of a lot of the smaller players. And I think that's what really would happen here. I will take that bet on his side, unfortunately, 10 years from now, no question. I believe these big integrated uh, companies with balance sheet strength right. okay. will do better than the alternative energy names. All right. Wow. Okay. I mean, that's a, that's great. Uh, you know, listen, I'm, uh, obviously, uh, a lot of folks, uh, that's counter thinking. And that's why I appreciate you guys. We got about a minute to sure. go. So if I can, just from each of you, what you are doing, uh, you know, right now in your portfolio, uh, that you think works no matter who wins. And I'll go Real quick, no matter who is president, dividend growth still matters. People still need income. The interest rate policy is still going to be at the zero bound. You need growing income, stable cash flows. We're doing that before, during, and after the election.